live from KSAT 12. The 6 o'clock news starts right now. It is a long awaited win for the city of San Antonio, but not a done deal just yet. Direct flights from Military City USA to the nation's capital. This afternoon, Congress passed the FAA reauthorization bill, which paves the way for 10 new direct flights to D.C. Texas leaders say this is a key win after a years long battle. Our Daniela Ibarra explains an airline has already stepped up to take San Antonians there. A step towards a quicker journey. The San Antonio International Airport is working to get travelers to a new destination. Well, we think getting this uh, direct flight to Reagan National Airport is absolutely essential for uh, so many in this community. Something called the perimeter rule has kept San Antonio from getting that direct access. The rule restricts direct flights into Reagan National to within 1,250 miles of that airport. San Antonio is 1,600 miles away. San Antonio needs this flight. It absolutely is essential for our DOD presence. Our military members work long, hard hours, and making their flights and their challenges to get in and out of the nation's capital harder does not help our population that likes to travel. San Antonio, which I'm proud to represent, has about 1.7 million people. Representative Chip Roy is among the bipartisan lawmakers who's pushed to expand access to D.C. And there's nobody could actually have that direct flight without Washington, without, without changing the law. And it's literally taking an act of Congress to get it done. It absolutely is, and it's, and it's failed multiple times. Congress approved the FAA reauthorization bill, paving the way to add new direct flights. Once the slots are available, the San Antonio airport says American Airlines plans to carry those routes. What would this mean economically for this area? Oh, I think it's going to be a huge starter. We will get more business back and forth. Our defense contractors are only growing as our cyber presence expands, as well as our other military missions. Getting the direct flight from DCA here to San Antonio is just one part of the spill. It also includes improvements to safety standards, as well as making it easier for you to get a refund if your flight is canceled or delayed. At the San Antonio Airport, Daniela Ibarra, KSAT 12 News. Now, there are a couple more steps to San Antonio actually getting those direct flights. We caught up with Mayor Ron Nirenberg after today's city council meeting. He says he is determined to get those flights to the Alamo City. If everything's played uh, the way it should um, and uh, we continue to uh, see the execution from our, our delegation and our community, we're going to get that flight.